This video is in no way, shape, or form endorsed or sponsored by A&W Root Beer. I just really like the way this shit tastes. Hey guys, so Suburban runs and everything. That's awesome. But there's still some issues going on. You probably saw it the other day. If uh, I don't even know if I showed like the dash or anything on it. The check engine light's been on pretty much the whole time I've had it. I've had it going on like two years now. Oops. Anyway, so my problem with it is it's a 94. And I got an OBD2 scanner, which is good for 96 and up. But it's okay, because we have an app for that. Introducing this guy. Went and went and picked this up from local AutoZone today. Decent price. And it was like 30 bucks or so, something like that. And, you know, you're supposed to be able to go through, check the codes, kind of get a better idea of what's going on. Like, I got some vacuum fittings here. I know there's a couple vacuum leaks. At least one good one that I know of for sure going to the purge canister I believe I'm gonna try and get all that stuff squared away and then I just want to make sure that there's no more you know other codes that's thrown that I'm not aware of so when I got this code reader it's supposed to like flash in certain orders to show what the code is and then in this book that it comes with it will have oops If I can get back to it. Alright. There we are. It has a list of all kinds of different codes. And that's got, you know, normal ECM codes. And then it also has like ABS codes. And there's even a little switch on there where you can kind of go in between either of them. So, pretty neat. Should be fairly simple to figure out. I'm just going to go ahead and hook it up, see what codes we can get figured out, and yeah. Hopefully nothing major, hopefully it's just like that one vacuum leak and maybe one or two other small things that I can take care of. And yeah, just want to be able to get this thing running a bit more reliably, because many more whenever I have to start it up, I have to sit there and just modulate the throttle to keep it running for a minute or two until it warms up a little no idle fine but yeah it's just a pain and with well, 454 it probably doesn't sound all that good for anyone else all right and we are back sorry i had to take some phone calls fun stuff and look around and realize i really need to fire up the mower and start mowing today yay Anyways, though, we're going to go ahead and hook this up. It's supposed to flash in certain orders, which it explains in the book, and I feel like I would just butcher that explanation. Alright. So that's hooked up. Okay, so nothing on that flashes. It's actually the check engine light flashes. Let's go ahead and redo this.
Okay, that's pretty much it. Looks like it was giving me code. I wish I'd been writing those down instead of just watching like an idiot. <sighs> Anyways, should have a good ink pen in my pocket still. Yeah, buddy. It was giving me code 12, 36, and 43. And from there, we can go up in here and get a better idea of exactly what those codes are. That's for the ABS. And like I said, it'll show you exactly how it does it. Like one blink, pause, blink, blink. And you know, that's 12. Alright, ECM service code. So it looks like service code 12. Diagnostic mode, no distributor signal to electronic control module system, pass. Okay, I guess that would technically be good. And then we also had 36. Mass airflow sensor, burn off circuit problem, transmission shift problem, direct ignition system, loss of 24. Okay, so I guess that would be like a loss of crank signal. Yeah, that's kind of what that sounded like. And then the other one was 43 electronic spark timing circuit, low voltage detected. Okay. Cool. So it looks like there's something going on with the ignition control somehow. Hmm. I'll just have to check into that and Try to see exactly what there is. Yeah. Hopefully it's nothing major. I don't know. I'll go ahead and recheck those codes, make sure, and then we'll try to dive in, see exactly what they are. Alright, so I did some digging around on some very old forums on the internet. And apparently code 12 just shows up to more or less let you know that it is in um, diagnostic mode. So that's going to show up regardless of what you're doing. Um, then after that, code 36 was more or less leaning towards a... Um, crank sensor so it's not too bad of a deal to mess with and then 43 was knock sensor so that would kind of explain why it's hard to keep running on first startup it was probably trying to pull a bit of timing out and yeah mess with all that jazz so yeah I guess I'm gonna have to probably hold off for a day or two figure out when I can financially do this and then you know kind of go from there I'm probably just going to go ahead and do both of them just knock them both out in one go hopefully that resolves all the issues and yeah I guess I'll just have to make it a second part of this video later on but other than that though an OBD1 scanner super simple to figure out fairly inexpensive you know if you're having any other issues you know definitely check into it if you have a buddy that has one that you can borrow you know because <sighs> we don't like when our tow rigs are broke down mm -mm, no i want the sell girl to last a while and yeah she definitely deserves some love so i think i'm actually going to Probably just stop recording for the day. Pop this vacuum line off and undo the tape there and actually fix it up a little bit better. Because that's just that's janky. And that's why I got all those new vacuum fittings in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that knocked out. Probably go and get started on mowing. 
and I guess I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, yeah, drop a like, comment, whatever. Um, especially if you dealt with this in the past, you know, if you have dealt with the code 36 or 43 on OBD1, you know, Chevy Suburban K2500, you know, let me know what worked for you guys on fixing it. Because it would be cool if I could just get it done one go and not have to worry about it again. Yeah. Other than that, though, I will see you guys next time. Peace.